Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your May tarot forecast. I feel like um, a lot of you are, I'm hearing like stitching something back up. It's like you're fixing something. This could be connected to a relationship. I also hear like a lot of you are sort of reclaiming parts of yourself that you've lost up until now. And maybe now you're noticing that you really want to integrate um, those old parts of yourself that you've lost up until now. So maybe um, for some of you, it's connected to the shadow. We just passed a Mercury retrograde and we're still wrapping up the post shadow period. So we could be noticing that there's a lot of old sort of outdated either beliefs, fears, um, behaviors, impulses, habits that have been coming up for us for the last few weeks. And this is an opportunity for us to not beat ourselves up or hate ourselves for that. Like we all have quote unquote, the shadow. Um, sorry, I just signed that wrong. Uh, we all have the shadow aspects of ourselves and that can be connected to our fears, our anxieties, again, toxic cycles, beliefs, habits. And it's really important that we understand where they're from and not only that we recognize them and we try to stop them. It's not about trying to stop something. It's not about trying to control something. It's about fully accepting that we all have those parts of us and you are also ruled by Mercury. Um, so you're Virgo, right? Virgo is connected to the planet Mercury. Mercury was just in retrograde. So you're gonna be feeling that a lot. Um, now, Again, we don't want to be beating ourselves up for the things about ourselves that we're noticing. And Virgo, you can really easily sort of like, you know, be hard on yourself. So don't do that. This is more about recognizing that there's still outdated patterns that continue to come up. So maybe you've noticed that you've been drinking more coffee than normal, or um, you've been drinking, you know, grabbing the wine because you're stressed or whatever, or maybe you're falling back into some gossipy or judgmental, you know, behavior, whatever. It's just, the point is this kind of shit bubbles up, especially during a Mercury retrograde, especially for you because you're connected to Mercury. So it's like, whatever's been coming up for you over the past month or two, like, just recognize that, okay, these are energies that are still coming up for my attention so that I can recognize them and I can integrate them, um, you know, further. Now, you have a lot of, there's two things. There's two important themes that are happening here, okay? The first theme, I have this Ace of Cups with this Death card, with this Four of Wands, Queen of Swords, like this vibe here, this is a good vibe. This is a good vibe because this is telling us that we're wrapping things up. We are really feeling more optimistic about the future. I feel like for a lot of you, the fog is going to start to clear and you're going to have more clarity about what you want to be doing over the next you know, few weeks for sure. But for a lot of you, this has already started. This Ace of Cups has already showed up. This is an opportunity for you to commit to something deeper. That doesn't mean that it needs to be an external thing. It doesn't need to be an external person, a project, a collaboration. This can be a commitment to yourself to show up in a new way and to allow your full new identity to emerge. Now, there's, I feel like for a lot of you up until now, there's been a little bit of fear about this new version of yourself. So your new identity that is still emerging and we're all experiencing this really heavily for the next year. Um, that's because we have the North Node in the sign of Aries. And that's an opportunity for us to have this new identity emerge. Um, I have a workshop for that. It's the no, uh, the nodes workshop. This is an energy that we're working with all year. So it's really important that you understand how to work with this energy, especially when, I mean, we're pulling cards like the Ace of Cups. We have the death card. Like this is an opportunity for you to really understand that your old self is dying off. And maybe some of you have this sort of subconscious fear or anxiety right now because you're noticing that something feels like it's coming to an end. Maybe you're like, um, you're having, you know, triggered thoughts or emotions or ideas or fears about health or um, resources or scarcity or whatever. It's probably coming up because, I mean, I'm not a doctor, so go to your doctor if you think you have a serious problem. But if you go and they check you out and they say, oh, nothing's nothing's wrong, everything's fine. It's like, it's because a lot of you are noticing that there's this energetic death that is happening. So like this energetic and emotional release 
this is, I'm really hearing like so profound that like you won't be coming back to this old place. And, and that's scary. And that's, um, that's kind of sad a little bit because this current place or the previous place that you're coming from, it's like, that was a character that you played for a long time. That was a version of yourself that you, you know, that you, you were, you accepted that. That was you for a long time. And now the universe is asking you to detach from that and to drop it and to move in a different direction. It's like, that's fucking terrifying. And I feel like there's a little bit of hesitation. I feel like especially with Mercury being retrograde for the past couple of weeks, and then we had the post shadow period for another two weeks. It's like, we are only now, I believe on May 15th, the post shadow period ends and it's done. So only around that time, you know, mid month, will you start to really feel more confident in yourself and more confident in the path and the doors that are opening for you. And I feel like you understand that this is going to lead you to a lot of new creative expression, excitement, control, power. I also feel like a lot of full satisfaction because you have a nine of cups here. So like nine of cups, the four of wands, this king of wands, like this is a really nice energy. This is a really nice energy because it it's like you feel more confident in your decision-making process. You feel more um, like a, uh, sorry, this is the queen, queen of swords with that ace of cups. Like you feel more clarity about what you want for yourself, even if you don't know how you're going to get it, but you can trust the feeling internally. You know that what you want for yourself now is different than what you've been doing. And I have this queen of cups reverse with this sun card here. So when I see the sun reverse, I feel like you're starting to notice that there are old behaviors, habits, beliefs, connections, projects, communities, relationships, whatever, that just, they don't match your needs, especially when I have this queen of cups reverse. And it's like, with the queen of cups reverse, if you're recognizing that other people can't match your needs and your needs have changed, they've leveled up because you have leveled up and your entire life is leveling up. So the universe is requiring a new version of yourself to show up and match that level of your new life. So when you decide to start making better decisions for yourself and to prioritize yourself, you're going to really recognize who's not prioritizing you. You're going to really recognize who's not on your same page, so to speak. So what do you do? Well, I have a queen of pentacles reversed here and a page of swords reversed. It's like, if you're noticing that you are more mature energetically, emotionally, financially, than these people, projects, things, you're not going to want to continue investing into them. Then what's going to happen? I feel like a lot of you are going to notice that other people start to get a bit of a strange reaction. Maybe there's some gossip or they want to check in on you. They want to see like, oh, what are you doing? If you're not going to be here, I feel like a lot of you are deciding to leave friend groups or relationships or companies. And it's like, they just want to get nosy and understand like, what are you doing then? If you're not investing your time, your energy, your money into me, what are you doing? What are you doing? And it's like, if you're noticing that you are leaving other connections and then you want to go back and you want to see what are they doing without you, don't fucking do that. You're wasting your energy. You're wasting your time. Let them look it up. Let them see what you're doing. Let them get curious, but you don't fucking care. Just like shut the door, lock it, throw away the key. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. You have so many better things moving forward. And I feel like you're leaving a time of confusion. You're going to start getting a lot more clarity about what the next steps are. And you only need to focus on the next steps. You don't need to think about, you know, five, 10 kilometers ahead. Like, no, think about these step by step by step by step. Okay. I also feel like a lot of you are still, <sighs> you're still healing from the past. And I feel like this is a little bit of a challenging time because you know what you don't want to be doing. You know what you want to be doing, or you're going to get more clarity about a better direction for you to move towards. And then when you need to take action and actually establish boundaries or cut people off, that's when you're going to start to struggle because there's going to be a lot of old scarcity programming ideas fears, anxieties. You're going to want to hold on to your comfort zone. Don't do it. Close your eyes, jump, and just like take a leap of faith, you know? Um, we also just had a very, very lucky new moon 
in Taurus. So if you haven't watched the new moon workshop, go watch it anytime. This was a very lucky new moon. The workshop is 19 minutes. You can pay $1. I don't care. You can pay whatever you want, but go and watch it. If you're still here watching this because this is resonating and making sense, then you need to do something with this energy. Okay, so go watch the workshop. I'm sending you so much love, Virgo. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. Share this on your Instagram story. These are free. I show up every month for you. I'll see you very soon. Support me back. Love you. Ciao.